Having only just arrived in the country late last year, Volvo Construction Equipment's electric machinery range is already making inroads in the sector and grabbing plenty of attention. It was certainly the highlight of the company's stand at the Diesel Dirt and Turf Expo in Sydney in April, where its ECR25 electric excavator and L25 electric wheel loader took centre stage. The L25 is the company's first electrified loader, and Volvo says it offers all the tried and tested functionality of its diesel counterpart without the noise and emissions. So the operating weight of the L25 has been kept the same and all of the specs and dimensions of the machine are kept the same as its diesel equivalent. So two and a half metres tall, one and a half metres wide. You've got a 1.2 cubic metre bucket on the front there with all your Volvo um, usual. So you've got your Volvo attachment bracket and the torque parallel linkage. So it's everything you'd expect from a Volvo wheel loader, uh, just with the electric system. Powering the machine is a lithium-ion 48-volt battery system that replaces the combustion engine. You've got six battery packs uh, on the back there that we can take a look at. They're NMC lithium-ion batteries and they allow this machine to operate for up to six hours depending on your application. So there's two ways you can charge the L25 or ECR25. They have a Type 2 plug for your AC charge. This is where you want to connect the machine directly to the grid. To complete a full AC charge, it takes about six hours, uh, depending on the power source. Uh, if you want to get a quicker charge in, maybe at lunchtime, for example, you have a fast charge option with the use of an off-board fast charging system. This can directly charge the batteries in about one to one and a half hours, depending on which of our machines you're looking at. A key benefit of utilising a battery-powered wheel loader like the L25 is the quietness and comfort, the company says. First and foremost, there's uh, no emissions, um, so this can obviously reduce your carbon emissions uh, if that's your target, as well as promote a healthier work environment. Um, as well, if you're working indoors or in areas where emissions are a problem, this will eliminate those uh, without the need for fume extraction systems and such. Uh, another benefit of electric construction machines is they're very quiet. Um, so yeah, when you start these machines up, they're much quieter than their diesel equivalents. This just means that communication on site can be improved. Another benefit, uh, probably the third benefit of uh, electric construction machines is the ownership costs and the, and the ongoing running costs. There's no diesel maintenance on these and the electric system's completely maintenance free. Uh, so due to that, you're going to have less downtime and less servicing and maintenance and save costs on the, on the running costs as well. In addition to the new battery packs, Volvo CE has also added a few new features in the cab for improved operator productivity. These include a new HMI display for enhanced visibility and control of the machine, as well as the Electric Machines Management app, which allows owners to see key machine info such as charge status and the machine's location. While the electric machines operate the same way as the diesel equivalents, there are certain nuances that operators may need to get used to hopping into these units, Volvo CE says. So the, uh, the electric battery system is connected to electric motors which power um, your drive line and your working hydraulics. You get the, the instant torque um, and it's, I guess operators can, can adjust within the cab the, the sensitivity and, and whatnot really to, to match their needs. But it will require operators to slightly change the way they're, they're used to doing things. Um, another example of that is um, when, you, when you jump in this machine it has a, a regenerative braking where the electric motor will slow itself down and return that kinetic energy into electrical energy through to the battery system. Um, so because of that you don't need to apply the, the service brakes as often and, and you can really utilise that automatic regenerative braking. While Volvo CE's electric offering is currently on the smaller side in Australia, there will be some bigger machines heading our way in the future, the manufacturer says. As you can see online over in Europe and in other, other areas of the world, Volvo have some larger electric machines coming through, uh, such as an L120 uh, wheel loader, uh, an EC230 excavator. Uh, so we're hoping to see these larger machines land on, in Australian soil in the near future. Um, and a lot of our customers are asking a lot about these machines, so um, we'd really like to get these over and, and service uh, the customers. 
between Perth, uh, Sydney, Brisbane and Melbourne. They'll all have uh, a wheel loader, an L25, an ECR18, a 1.8 tonne digger and a 2.5 tonne digger. So each state will have access to, to the model that they, they want to look at. Um, and then any stock from there will we'll keep uh, having further stock coming in as customer demand is, uh, appears.